everyone, my name is Safa. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to another speed build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a wonderful day. So today we are building in the world of Granite Falls. I think it's been, I don't know how long, I think like few months maybe since the last time I built on this world. It's been quite a while I would say, but I've been wanting to build again on this world because I don't know, I think I always mainly build on the like regular worlds like um, Oasis Springs, what else, like Brindleton Bay and um, Evergreen Harbor, something like that rather than building in the destination worlds um, because you have to bring a sim there and I just don't want to do a lot of things with the whole like vacation stuff like that so I kind of like it's it's very rare for me to build on destination worlds especially but too I've never built anything on that world before but I don't know maybe I would in the future I don't know I mean basically in the bad two we we actually um, don't have like lots but you can build there it's it's like a like secret lots like the um, Sylvan Glade and Forgotten Grotto and also Six M. So those three are like you have to do the whole cheat thing with the enable free build cheat. I think I'm not really sure about that, but um, you have to type some cheats in and then you can um, build on that secret world or hidden lots to be exact. So yeah, it, you have to do a lot of things before um, you build in like certain worlds. But with destination worlds like this. To play test this, you have to like make a sim, go into the vacation world, and basically just like spend a few days there to play test everything. And I just that's a lot of things to do. So, um, yeah, that's why I barely built on this type of worlds. But um, since it's been quite a while since I built on this world, I decided to go back to here and build a kind of like a riverside like cabiny woodsy cabin type of build so this supposed to be a rental um type of a lot but when i upload this to my library somehow this still like listed as residential i'm not sure why maybe it's just my game but you can like do either way i would say you can use this as your like regular residential build and also um like rental belts i think this would look nice in um what is that world windenburg i would say and also um snowy escape even though i'm not sure if this type of architecture would match perfectly with the snowy escape world um what is the world mon Komorebi? um yeah architectural style wise they are totally different but it's it's fine i always mix and match architectural styles like on every single lot so it doesn't matter anyway but um this build has one two three bedrooms i would say i'm not really sure because um, i think we have one on the like downstairs over here and i think we have two upstairs yeah, I think we have two, so three uh, bedrooms total and one, three other bottom or four bedroom, three bathrooms. I'm not sure. I could be totally wrong about that, but we'll see in just a few minutes. So I decided to go with the whole like um, chocolatey brown wood texture. I think it looks very cozy and very cabin like. I just really wish we could change the lighting color because it will be nice if we have like woodsy like chocolate brown like this wallpaper from um not jungle adventure the other the other one what is that not cabin oh my god outdoor retreat i totally forgot the name of the pack i'm so sorry it's the first game pack i think yeah i think it's yeah 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 yeah. it's correct it's the first game pack and um i totally forgot about that it's actually the last game pack that i bought i mean um I used to not have like a lot of packs. I, I, I only had like a few packs back then. But now I have like almost all of them besides the fashion kits. So yeah, either this one or a vampire that I 
purchase the last I'm not sure so this is clearly not one of my most favorite game pack but the world is gorgeous and I just really wish they will like refresh this pack in the future because with the spa day um, refresh we got like a whole new level of game pack it's so amazing I mean I've loved um, spa day since the very first day I bought that it's just so beautiful the items are amazing I just love that and I think if you're lucky enough to get this um, game pack being refreshed I think it will be a really nice one I, I just really want to have like a lot of um, bunnies here because they're so adorable and um, I just really want like a whole new level of game pack I mean it's this is one of them that needs refresh so much and um, also uh, I was talking about the ceiling of this build because it's so strange to have this like stark white ceiling I just really want to have like like a few swatches I would say like the like roof trim you know that roof trim has a ton of colors so I really wish they would do that in the future so we can just like uh, maybe select some of the colors per room I would say that would be really nice I just really want that so much because it's just so strange like if you build a modern house it won't be like a huge issue but if you build something more traditional like this one or maybe like a Victorian gothic um, type of a belt it would be like really strange to have white ceiling when you have like dark interior that's just how I think so if you don't have the same opinion as I do that's totally okay I just really wish we could have like some option with the ceiling and besides that I think it it looks totally fine and if you um, decided to play on this build and make this as a like regular residential house you totally could but one thing that I have to mention that this build is not like cluttered like like as usual because I imagine that this would be a resident I'm sorry this would be a rental lot and most of the times rental builds or like Airbnb in real life they do not have a lot of clutters they tend to be more like simple and like clean so I didn't put a ton of clutter on this build but I clutter it enough just so it doesn't look too empty and it looks kind of like nice and cozy and like perfect for this type of weather I mean here in my country we still hit like 35 degrees Celsius by midday and that's a lot of heat and surprisingly if we were lucky enough to get like 26 degree by night it would be very very cold for us that's just how much heat we have here and I think this month should be like a little bit colder but it's still like the heat is still up there so um, so I'm not sure what's going on here but um, anyway we are basically just finishing up the first story over here so we have a kitchen like a huge kitchen with the whole um country kitchen not country kitchen cottage living um countertop set and also we have a dining space like a decent sized dining space we have one bedroom one bathroom and i think that's it for the first story so this one is the second story we have I'm not sure two bathroom I would say one is an ensuite bathroom and the other one is like a regular bathroom and we have three or two bedrooms I'm not sure I totally forgot this build I mean I didn't build this like too long time ago but it's been like almost a week because um, I don't know I just love building so much and most of the times I do it whenever I um, kind of like stress or something so it's kind of like a refreshing moment for me so i think we have three bedroom here on the second story yeah 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 i would say three so we have one master bedroom and we have two like regular uh, bedroom and this is the ensuite bathroom i would say and this build took quite some time to finish because I just I wasn't really sure how to furnish this I just don't want to use a ton of packs but on the other side I really want them to look nice and with this type of build I thought that warmer lighting will look 
nicer I would say so that's why I used a ton of like yellow based lighting like warm warm white and like pale yellow color so I think that's really nice and to be honest I really really want to like spend a few days on this cabin over here I'm not sure if it's right to call this build a cabin or a cottage or I don't know um, I'm not sure about that but let's just call it as a cabin and if you have um, outdoor retreat please let me know do you like enjoy it very much or do you have some complaints about something um, I've never I mean yes I visited outdoor retreat once or twice maybe but that's it I barely do gameplay so I'm not really sure on what I should do on um, this world or basically like any other worlds because I would say that for a first pack ever like I think this is the first um, pack not the get to work I would say I could be wrong about that but um, as the first DLC for the Sims world this world is really really gorgeous and this world actually has a secret lot so the secret lot I'm not sure about the name of the secret lot but that's the hermit um house i think so i wanted to build on that lot so much but that's basically a secret lot behind a destination world and i don't know if i could do that to just like put a sim on a holiday mode and make her to go into the secret lot i'm not sure because that's a lot of work to do but maybe i will do that in the future i'll, I'll list that on my notebook why not um the the world or the lot to make that of that secret lot is really really stunning like i've seen um dawn from sim lizzy she actually has a belt on that lot and i would say that it's like terrific they're, they're so beautiful it's so beautiful i kid you not if you have um other richard i really suggest you to um go to that secret lot and i think you have to go somewhere to the like um like forest area or something i could be wrong i'm not really sure i've never been there so i don't know and actually we are now on the backyard of the house so we have a swing set over here we have the florist um, table floor skill table I'm not sure what to call that and we have the bonfire thing so you can just like grill the marshmallow something like that on there and also if you notice that my video is a bit blurry here and there that's because the reshade I'm not sure why this is the first time happened on me so I don't know maybe there are some angles that made it um, a bit strange like with the whole like blurriness something like that so I'm sorry about that and if it bother you trust me I try to fix it but it's still there so yeah there's nothing I could do with that and if you used reshade and you've had something like that please let me know how to fix that because I want to know how to fix it or basically um, how it happened or maybe the cause of it so yeah please let me know about that and actually we are now just finishing the backyard and the landscaping a little bit here and there and we'll be moving on to the screenshots so if you want to download this build this has been up on the sims 4 gallery you can find it under my eid which is alpha Tierra, or under the hashtag plummy sims you could also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to my coffee website it'll bring you to um, both the gallery download link and also the tray files download link so if you feel like tray files is easier for you to grab i got you covered so yeah i think that's it i really hope you did enjoy this video and if you do please make sure to hit the thumbs up button also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to you could also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time i upload a new video so yeah i'm going to sign off right now thank you so so much for joining me today and supporting my channel enjoy the rest of the screenshots and i'll see you in the next video bye